The Princess of Wales' discharge from hospital will be the perfect birthday present for her mum, Carol, after a tricky 12 months. The businesswoman, who is also a grandmother of seven, turns 69 today and is likely to mark the day quietly with her family, including her husband, Michael, and maybe even Kate, if she feels up to joining celebrations as she continues her recovery from abdominal surgery. It will mark the end of a tough year for the Midlatons. Back in May, they were forced to sell their once successful party pieces business after facing challenges during the COVID-19 pandemic. Party Pieces was founded by Carol herself in 1987 to create imaginative parties for children and went on to sell products including party decorations, tableware, and personalized gifts. It was run from a converted barn near the Middleton's home in Berkshire. Carol previously wrote on the company's website, In January 1987, when I was six months pregnant, I decided to take myself off to the Spring Fair in Birmingham, where I found a good selection of suppliers. From there, the idea evolved. I produced a little flyer which I circulated in local playgroups, and very soon I was using our garden shed as a picking-packing room and office. She stepped back from the day-to-day -day running of the business in 2019 but became a brand ambassador for the business and director too, and the company was incorporated. But trading was impacted significantly during the COVID-19 pandemic, according to administrator Interpath. Party Pieces was then bought by Teddy Tastic Bear Co. Ltd., which is owned by entrepreneur James Sinclair. Will Wright, head of restructuring at Interpath Advisory and joint administrator, said at the time, Party Pieces is a well-established brand with a proud British heritage, but like many other companies across the retail space, had been impacted profoundly by the effects of the pandemic and the ensuing restrictions on social gatherings. We're pleased to have been able to conclude this transaction which sees the business acquired by James Sinclair. We wish him all the very best for the future. She and husband Michael were also targeted by scathing posters plastered around their village just months later. Party Pieces had taken out a loan during the pandemic to prop itself up due to the loss of business over cancelled parties before continuing to struggle through the cost of living crisis. However, some suppliers were reportedly left furious as they were still owed money months after the sale of the business. Malicious posters targeting party pieces were stuck on lamp posts and trees around Buckleberry, locals have claimed, as well as neighboring Yattendun. Residents expressed their disgust at the hate campaign, describing it as unfair and abusive. One source told The Sun, Carol and Michael are incredibly popular. Everyone is horrified by these posters. It's unfair to do this in their home village, just yards from where they live. Their son James lives nearby and so does Pippa, who has moved around there recently with her family, so they all have to be confronted by this. They are doing their best to make things right and don't deserve this kind of abuse. James, 36. La vie's on an estate a stone's throw from his parents with his wife Alizé and was spotted ripping the posters down. Just weeks after that, the final series of The Crown dropped on Netflix, featuring a character depicting Carol for the first time as it covered the early romance of Prince William and Kate. The show portrayed her as going all out to ensure her daughter would meet the future king after realizing they would be studying at the same university. In one scene, Carol, played by actress Eve Best, can be seen talking to her daughter about how she should leave her boyfriend, focus her sights on William, and show off her legs. But Carol's brother and Kate's uncle Gary Goldsmith hit out at the portrayal of both his sister and his niece and said it was difficult to watch. Speaking on the Daily Mail's podcast, The Crown Fact or Fiction, he explained he had been watching the show, but once it started becoming ridiculous and fantastical, it was very difficult to watch, so I stopped. He added, Carol isn't that manipulative evil person, coming up with ways by which she can force her way into the royal family. First and foremost, Kate did brilliantly well to get into St. Andrews, 
she's an amazing girl, but that wasn't noted. It was all to do with, Kate, you've got to be doing these things, you've got to be showing your legs, and it's just not my family. It's not the way Carol operates. Now as she celebrates her 69th birthday, Carol has also had to contend with her daughter undergoing abdominal surgery, as well as help out with her grandchildren, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis.